Hi Church. Today's August 16th and I want to share a few thoughts about yesterday, August 15th. Uh, an important day, the one that uh, I overlooked. Uh, things got a little uh, busy yesterday with all the things going on, but uh, yesterday was still yesterday. Now what was August 15th? August 15th uh, in the church calendar is the day for St. Mary, the mother of our Lord. Uh, in the Roman Catholic Church, they call it the Assumption of Mary. The Orthodox Church calls it the Dormition of Mary when she fell asleep, when she died. We might not go quite so far as those things. That's always kind of the problem with events, right? We make too much of them than they really are. Now, the flip side of making too much of something is to downplay it, ignore it altogether. And uh, Mary has historically presented something of a problem for Lutherans, given our history. We have maybe not always given Mary the credit, the respect that she deserves. A woman of great humility. And when we ponder the life of the mother of our Lord Jesus, she really does deserve some attention for what she has to teach us. Luke chapter 1 is where the angel Gabriel appears to Mary. Gabriel is God's messenger angel. When an angel speaks, it's typically Gabriel. Michael is God's warrior angel. But Gabriel comes to Mary's home. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Who can have a problem with saying that? Hail Mary, greetings, the Lord is with thee. Gabriel went on to say several other things. Mary responds, how can this be, for I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. The child conceived in your womb will be the Son of the Most High God. Mary's wonderful response, Let it be to me according to your word. I am the servant of the Lord. Mary's great humility. Mary's acknowledging that what God wants to do, he'll find a way to get done. Mary's beautiful song, the Magnificat, my soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices, exalts in God my Savior. There's something that might be overlooked in the Magnificat. It's the regarding of Mary by God. Why was Mary chosen? Uh, that's a question for not even another time. It's just a, a, a question that really is not worth much I'm trying to figure out why. We waste a lot of time and energy with why. Mary was a woman, a girl, like any other. But the seed of the woman in the garden, Eve. Well, it needed to grow, sprout and come forth. Mary, in that line, bringing the promise of God to us. God regarded Mary in her lowest state, she was not praised because she was the mother of Jesus. She was praised 
for generations because of what God did. God regarded her. What is there about us that would make God regard us? Nothing. Aside from the fact that God has chosen us as his own. He comes to us and claims us. He is the one who baptizes us and makes us a part of his body, the church. Yes, giving Jesus as our brother. Yes, giving Jesus as our head. And we together grow up into him. How beautiful. God regarded Mary. She received the confusing news and said, let it be to me according to your word. And yes, indeed, for generations, from then to now and into the future, all generations call Mary the mother of our Lord Jesus, blessed. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.